I ain't with this loving Cause my heart ain't healed, it broke a lot I'm hella taking my advice Cause I don't really know a lot All I know is cash, live fast, I'm a whole a lot yeah. Heart saving money when I get it, like to blow a lot Blow Y'all ain't got no clue how sad I am right now I just recorded uh, my thoughts on rewatching the Halo Infinite uh, gameplay trailer. I have the footage of me on my phone, but I had exited out of my Elgato before it had finished, and now I only have like a second of footage. So all of that's just gone. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna edit out the parts where I'm sitting and just looking at the screen to the parts where I'm talking about putting some input in, you know? And that's so frustrating to me. I'm so sorry right now. So yeah, um, just letting y'all know, hope y'all enjoy it still. Uh, just my input on what some YouTubers are thinking and what I think on the game itself. So yeah, hope y'all enjoy. Later. Here back at it with another video. And today we're uh, looking over the Halo Infinite campaign trailer again because there's a lot of things I know about, uh, some more things that I've heard, you know, but I I felt like we could go more in depth if I chose to rewatch it with you guys and explain what I'm thinking as long as like the along the way basically. So yeah, let's uh get to this trailer. Um it's already been on my live stream, you've seen it if you chose to watch that, but if not, we can go over it right now. So let's get it. This is by far the most annoying thing. I love that the Spartans run or Chief runs. And I've seen multiple YouTubers complain and get upset because Chief is running. Why do you think he shouldn't be able to run? In uh, Halo 1, 2, 3, and then they start running in Reach 4 and 5, I don't think a Spartan should just walk. I don't know what type of battlefield you're thinking of, or even though like 1, 2, and 3 are great games, yes, but that doesn't mean a Spartan should have to walk because I don't understand why they put it in there. I bet you if they put Master Chief being able to run in 1, 2, and 3, your opinion still wouldn't change on the game. I don't understand why people hate on running so much. I love it. It's for combat. I don't, I don't understand anybody in the heat of battle who walks. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm glad they put that in the game. I don't know what these people be talking about. Um, One of the YouTubers that got mad at something that makes sense. Um, When these brutes drop down, they don't have guns. And they kind of do this animation where they're like screaming and stuff instead of immediately rushing the target, which allows us to just unload on them while they're doing all that extra stuff, which then, which kind of zoned me too. I'm like, well, that's not how it actually would go. I would want them to just try and attack you, you know, but it just allowed them to kill so easily. No gun, so he just chooses to charge you. So a cool thing, the jackals aren't just walking out with their shields out. He starts shooting it, and then you can see the jackal kind of do a motion to activate its shield right there. So that was cool, because I was like, well, yeah, it'd be something that could possibly happen, but I'm thinking to myself, why would they be walking out all the time with their shields out, you know? Because they don't know if they're under attack or not, sometimes. But, you know, it's just cool to see that they're adding new stuff. Also, proven uh, that the grunts are being thrown. They can't fly. They're being thrown by brutes, and that's why... You see that. Tell you the truth, I'm gonna have this on legendary, so I hope they at least like I don't know if they're gonna add more enemies or just make the it'll be better if they added like stronger enemies instead of just make like for uh, harder difficulties if they even choose to do that. Um because I heard it might just be like you go to a certain spot and this spot is more difficult than the last spot. So you might want to do a side mission to try and upgrade your whatever the heck. Because I know uh, in the menu, you guys might have seen the upgrades if you didn't just go back. But um, if they choose to go with the previous Halo difficulty level, it's just you can choose at the very beginning. Then if you choose Legendary, I hope that the enemies aren't just bullet absorbing 
same like you know what i mean so i hope they don't just uh, you have to just unload on them all all of your ammo and stuff i hope like they just throw uh stronger enemies in there or like make them move around more that'd be cool to have the thing i wanted to talk about the most is like how annoying it was to hear those youtubers complain about um the sprinting i just couldn't understand it this this is a super soldier right soldiers in general in the heat of battle run what makes you think that a soldier that was created to think move and react faster than a normal human would just be walking around why would he do that it's so dumb to me and if it's for multiplayer then i just don't get it because uh i mean yeah multiplayer can be fun with walking or sprinting but nobody's saying you have to sprint but just know i'm gonna be sprinting <laughs> So this, all this area, I also love how they're like making it like not just a, a plain field where you have to shoot the enemies and just like you're able to move around and go up or get the high ground and stuff like that. A lot more of that. That's awesome to me. So yeah, that was cool. So yeah, that was just me going over uh, these trailers once again for Halo Infinite. I love the game. I'm definitely playing it. Um, you guys are definitely going to see that. So yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, it's been your boy, a lot of TJ, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.